and welcome to Prudent Media News. First, a look at the headlines. District Hospital at Mapsa not to run on PPP mode. CM clears file for cancellation of PPP contract. Holds pre-budget meeting with Alliance MLAs. Congress heavyweights continue reasoning the defeat. Blame game goes on. CM, MOI, Family Raj and NCP top the list of disaster cause. Goa government opposes National Counterterrorism Center. CM questions the need of central organization a product media exclusive. Pro League Champions Dempo Sports Club wins Super Cup. Randy Martin scores 73rd minute match winner in flooded encounter at Fatorda. And Salgonkar cruise past Sarvodaya in Goa Professional League 3. NRB GSA stars thresh GCA Academy stars. Joe Chaya smashes 53 of 21 balls. Now the news in detail. Finally, District Hospital at Mapsa will not run on PPP basis. Chief Minister Manohar Parrikar informed us that he has cleared a file cancelling PPP contract. Parrikar informed us that he will take opposition MLAs into confidence while presenting the budget 2012-2013. That we have already directed for cancelling. Albit me. PPP maps are cancelled. Albit are virtually is under. Yeah, it's only a question of making it null and void because nothing has happened after four years. Parikar held a pre-budget meeting with the BJP, MGP MLAs and independent MLAs backed by BJP. Parikar informed that he will take opposition MLAs into consideration before presenting the budget 2012 <laughs> Parikar also informed us that he will try to complete 50% of the assurances given in BJP manifesto in this budget itself. Manifesto BJP is a lot of money. So, how do you implement the budget? How much is the percentage? How much is the full manifesto? Full manifesto complete. Target 3 years. I have to do it for 5 years. Definitely. I have to do it for 8 years. That way we are successful. But we have to do it for 2 years. How much is the percentage? I am trying maximum 40-50% पहले दक्षिण कबार को रुड़े लो जो लेक लोकांगुई बरें समाधान दाऊं शक्ता ने केद्र करता मैं गवर्नमेंट गवर्नमेंट डेट वर्क्स ऐसे फीलिंग इतने मैं कहीं जाएँ ना स्लेम जाऊँ तब आई एम सरप्राइज्ड हाँ मुख्यमंत्री जाले बसुन मगर जागो सुरपा गयों ना मैं तो वर्चुअली पायली पायला जाले ये पायला जाले no decision was being taken. A reporter Lokik Shilkar with video journalist Onkar Ferrari for Prudent Media. Congress heavyweights are still busy reasoning out their defeat in the assembly poll. The blame game is getting intense within the party. Dawoli MLA Mohan Gudino has blamed Family Raj. Churchill has blamed CM and MOI, whereas Saifullah Khan has blamed the alliance partner NCP. And it continues. Taboli MLA Mauvin Gudino has reiterated that promotion of family Raj by the Congress is the major reason for the defeat of the poll debacle. We should have shown that we listen to the voice of the people. Instead what happened? You take any issue. Family Raj went against us. I have been making a loud noise. I have been protesting. This will affect us. People will sweep us out. 
and it should never be the case ever in Goa that a few families rule Goa. It is not anybody's personal fiefdom, which I want to reiterate even today. If you take the medium of instructions, even though the matter was in the court, people felt that uh, we are playing with them, playing around. Uh, the legal challenge was not adequate enough. Who were holding the main chairs in Goa, who were, hold, who were at the helm of FS, should be solely blamed and they should have owned up responsibility. Instead, they are trying to grab positions even now when they are out in the opposition. However, Churchill Alemau says, former Chief Minister Digambar Kamath and medium of instruction issue is the main reason behind the defeat. He made it clear that if Congress party does not want Alemau's, they are ready to quit. Meanwhile, Saifullah Khan, who was one of the aspirants of Congress ticket in Murgao, has blamed the Congress Alliance partner NCP for Congress downfall. He says not a single candidate of NCP could get elected. जे बदल आमका जाला चड लॉस असा जे समज आम्ही नेक्स्ट टाइम पासून आमचे सगळे पार्टी कडे आम्ही सांगलेले असा जे पहिले आम्ही सांगलेले की एनसीपी आणि काँग्रेस सिंग आम्ही अलायन्स करचे नो जे परमाने बरो कॅन्डिडेट असा ते बरे काम केला जाते जिकोन येतात तसे सांगू शकता त्यांना एनसीपी करा की आमचे पार्टी लावून त्यांना हे जाऊ ना ते असून आमका लॉस झाला आहे म्हणून आ रिपोर्ट फ्रॉम मारगाव समीर बट Chief Minister Manohar Parrikar, speaking to Prudent, informed us that Goa government has opposed the National Counter-Terrorism Centre. Tamil Nadu, Bihar, Gujarat, Orissa, Chhattisgarh and West Bengal, having non-Congress governments, have also opposed the NCTC. Parrikar questioned the need of a central organisation when the state police can do the same job. Watch our exclusive. Opposing the kind of uh, direction the central government is giving. We don't agree with it. I don't agree with it. There is no need for allowing national authority to conduct raids and arrest anyone and take away. For example, today there are raids going, income tax raids going on on certain builders. As of today. Those raids which are going on are conducted with help of local police. So, why do you much about why do you need a central agency for it? They can take help of local police na, if they want to arrest someone. But with that draconian, yeah, they are infringing on my fundamental right as a state, which I don't agree. So I am writing a stinking letter. After failing to break the deadlock over National Counter Terrorism Center in a meeting of top bureaucrats of nearly all the states and union territories, the center indicated its readiness to amend certain sections of controversial notification to make it more amicable to the states. Representatives of non-Congress rule states like Tamil Nadu, Bihar, Gujarat, Orissa, Chhattisgarh and West Bengal strongly opposed the move in Monday's meeting contesting that the intelligence bureau was already performing the job and there was no need to give power of arrest as proposed in the new counter-terror unit as it would eat away into the jurisdiction of their police. So Saivas said that given the tough opposition by non-Congress rule states in the meeting, the center will have to wait for the annual meet of chief ministers on internal security for any decision on the NCTC. The chief ministers of all the states along with their top bureaucrats will meet in Delhi on April 16th. With bureau inputs are reporter Lokik Chilkar with video journalist Omkar Farari. It's time for a short break. Stay tuned. <laughs> 